Ronnie Rowland. Hey, Ron, are we up there rolling? My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you doing? Tell them where we are. Jimbo, we're coming live from my apartment. A little change o pace this episode. No, we're at the warehouse in Jersey uh, City. It's floorball week, and Zach's got a big concert, so we are getting our Weekly Dumb on. Everything you said was true. Tell them about the sports. Jim, big sports week. The trade deadline was last week, and we had an interesting one. Eduardo Rodriguez, three, two, one, six and a half. Really? He declined. Eduardo? Eduardo's a badass name. My grandpa's name was Edward, and when he was acting a little dumb, his wife would call him Eduardo. Eduardo Rodriguez turned down a trade to the Los Angeles Dodgers from the Detroit Tigers, which is kind of crazy because it's like, wow, the Dodgers, you could win a World Series and it would only be two months and baseball players travel a ton anyway. But Eduardo was pretty firm on like, hey, I got a no trade clause, I'm gonna use it. And according to sources, it's really shaking up the Sarses. Dodgers sauces. Sarses. It's really shaking up the Dodgers clubhouse, a little like a oh. Fresh Prince scene, like why doesn't he want me? New Dodger, Fresh Prince or old one? Old, new one's awful. The Dodgers thought everyone wanted to be a Dodger. Right. What? You don't want to come here it's LA I think he just did it to stay in Detroit and be good because it's a pitcher's park and nobody cares when they play Detroit so his season numbers will be great and he'll get a big contract if we, he went over to the Dodgers and stunk everyone would be like mm, that's not bad right nice 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 wasn't this almost a breakdown you were telling me about also in the NL West it was it was Little boy Sassoni Sassoni Shit. Slade Sacconi. Slade Sacconi? Three. Wait, Slade, two, wait, wait. One. Slade Sacconi, three, two, two one, one eight seven point, point two. one. Slade. If you're not a pro athlete and your name is Slade, you run a small drug cartel. And you what gave yourself you telling an me about Oh, this? dude, his first strikeout ever as a yes. big leaguer, it's very funny because the batter swings at it. Knob. And then it hits the catcher in the glove and then in the nuts. And the catcher squeezes it with his nuts. Strike three. Catcher caught it. They had to replay it, so there's a moment. And for your first major league strikeout to have it be weird like that, with your and name's I, already Slade Sacconi, now you're kind of on like the righteous path. And everybody knows I don't really like getting on umps. But, Zach, if you could roll the footage of this ump trying to tell the crowd what happened. The ball, the pitched ball hit the bat, went into the catcher's glove. It's a foul ball, it's strike three. Stumbles over yeah. almost every other word. And another thing. More sports, here we come. More sports. Uh, what is the more sports? Huh, this guy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the more sports, speaking of more sports, DraftKings got uh, more sports than you could think about on their app. Check them out. And if there was a bet to make on this one, last place was a lock, because we've seen the slowest 100 meter time clocked in by the Somalian king's No, daughter? not the king, like the head of the athletics department. and. He, he didn't know they had athletics. He's like, this is a great gig. We don't even do sports. It's a They're great like, job. Send your best runner to our World we're University race. We're thinking about he sports, like, but we're not ready. This was a really good thing by Somalia. Right. There's that baby, right, that they found that lived alone in the woods for like 13 years, and you're like, this is- I don't is, know about that. Know about it. And this is terrible, but an awesome case study. Like we would never do this on purpose, but what would happen if a baby just lived right. alone? Now Somalia, we know what the average runner looks like against world-class sprinters. See, Bad. that's the problem here. Imagine if she competed, shots fired. People have been saying that, and that's been, I think it's the lane I eventually go into, Okay, is competing at Olympic events, and they're like, what's the normal guy do? Yeah. I know it'd be ugly, and it, you'd get worked in any sport, and that's kind of the whole point of it, but she's really, not getting out of the gate. Let's get out of the sports. Snakes. It's been too sports heavy. <laughs> two snakes. It's been too sports heavy, I said. Yes, let's talk about the Nat Sports. Arriving now. You gonna go get it? The Nat Sports this week went. is Jake's IHOP delivery. We ordered some IHOP because we're hungry. There's Hop a lot there. Of food here. Hop there and then tell the driver I hopped here. Did you get that jump? Race car Ron. Hey guys. BRB. <laughs> Not a lot of big reaction to the outfit. <sighs> Are you ready for the Not Sports? Yes. The Not Sports is that Zach's cow is still loose in his hometown. Three days missing, causing mayhem. There's a funny video of it running down the street, and then Zach's cousin, the policeman, is chasing it in the car. 
and they didn't catch it. This is still going on and you didn't tell us? Like, I think they got it. This was like forever ago. They got it. <laughs> it was like, like, what, I showed this like a month ago? They caught it? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it's been a while. But for a while they couldn't. There was days where it was not caught. It's the employee of the, of the week. week. It's the employee of the, of the week. week. You kind of had your employees of the week wrapped around this cow thing. Well, no, you added the cow into it. I did. Yeah, I said employee of the week, Crooked Ways, playing a big show. Everyone Jake said else. only if you show up on stage with the cow. I agreed to that. I didn't say that. That's how it went down? I wish I said that, because that would have been awesome. Tuesday. Yeah, Music Fest. Are you I nervous? actually wanted to give it to all members of Crooked Ways, Sans the lead singer. What? They get enough love. They get so much love. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Think quick. <laughs> That's why he's the goalie. We're out. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's Weekly Dumb is sponsored by DraftKings, the best place to get yourself closer to the action. DraftKings Sportsbook is offering all new customers $150 in bonus bets instantly. Wondering what you could use $150 in bonus bets on? Wonder away. There's so many options. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB. Bet $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. I think all of these sports, swimming, high jump, low jump, should have what a- What was the last one? Low jump. I think they should all have- <laughs> What Olympics are you watching? <laughs> you have to get off the ground, but barely. I've been saying, breathe in, breathe in, run away, run away. It's a wrap. It's a wrap on set. <laughs>